Anderson and welcome to LBTV News. On November 2nd, Linda Woods Marketing Club hosted a water prong tournament for the student body. Students arranged themselves into teams aiming to achieve victory and take home pizza certificates from Cree Hands. Shaq Shanks and Caitlin Groman join in on the fun to get you an inside look. Last week, the Little Will Marketing Club hosted a water pong tournament. Students from all around campus gathered together and challenged each other to some clean, wet fun that all took place in the Dixon Overflow Room. Uh, we were just trying to get our, our name out, maybe attract some new members, and, uh, get out from the school so they can see what we're all about. Pretty much the marketing club is about really um, what happens after you graduate, you know, going into the marketing field and like letting the students understand, uh, you know, how to really formally make a marketing plan and how to implement, you know, all the classroom, you know, what you learn in the classroom into real life. And we're just preparing kids for that. Water pond is not that serious. I've been practicing for my crib. If you would like to get more involved or receive more information about the Marketing Club, please contact Frost Lindor. This is Shaq Shanks with OBTV News. On November 15th, Lindenwood's Hyperlinks had their own Escape the Room event that showcased their interactive media and web design skills. Ashley Brandmeier and Jay Kennedy went to the event to see what it was all about. Last week, Lindenwood's Hyperlinks hosted an Escape the Room event. The club has spent this entire semester working towards crafting the best escape room layout, puzzles, and storyline for the entire student body to enjoy. Hyperlinks is hosting this event. We've been planning it since about late August, early September. Um, everybody has their own part in it. We're all um, working on separate puzzles and um, designing the room and just getting the mood together. It's taken a lot of time and hard work and we've had to adapt at a lot of things and change things along the way, but we're happy with how it's turned out. Students only receive 30 minutes to escape once they were locked in the room. Many finished in under 25 minutes and found the room to be quite perplexing and entertaining. We came to do a team building thing by solving the mystery at the Escape the Room. It was really interesting, I don't know, it was fun. It was frustrating, but it was fun. In a, frustrating in a fun way. Hyperlinks hosts various events on campus throughout the year. For more information, contact communications professor and Hyperlinks sponsor, Derek Dadian Smith. For LBTV News, I'm Jay Kennedy. Lindenwood University is proud to say that they are home of the 2017 NWCA All-Star Classic Champion, Niani Hill. Chastity Cantu and Denton Eichel Schulte met with Ms. Hill to see what has driven her to her success. My name is Niani Hill. I'm from Oakland, California. I wrestle weight class 155, weighing 149, and I began wrestling at 189 pounds my sophomore year. Coming to Lindenwood was really a last minute thing. I was recruited by first coach Kyle Jan, and I'm here, 29 hours away from California, following my dream. Me and Yanni, we came here actually the same year. I think uh, just as a wrestler, she's, she's really grown, um, but she's always had the same mental aspect towards the sport and uh, towards her work ethic. She's never came in here and had an off day. She's always going 100%. She's consistent with it, and that's kind of something that separates her from everybody else's, her consistency. My freshman year, went to nationals, and I took seventh at nationals. I'm a three-time All-American. Last year, I made Team USA, so I'm the third string at the 69-kilogram weight class. I went to New Jersey, Princeton University, and it was the first time in 51 years that women got a chance to showcase their talents, and I was the champion of my weight class. Where I see her going from moving forward, uh, I, I see an Olympian, uh, if not Olympic champion. So uh, she has the right mindset and um, really holds herself accountable to getting her workouts in and doing what she needs to do to be number one. Wrapping up my last year of college, I'm using my last four years of eligibility here. After I plan on staying at Linwood University to do the master's program and hopefully coach the women's wrestling program under my head coach, Angelo Frenzy. With that, I'll probably go to Colorado and chase my dreams and hopefully be in Tokyo in 2020. Darian Boone and Dominique Bibbs had the chance to meet up with three senior football players to talk about how the program has grown, changed, and improved throughout their years playing here. The 2017 Lynx football team has come to an end, and we have invited three seniors who have been here since their freshman year 
to talk about their Lynx football experience. So freshman year, the football camp was a lot longer. It was about a month long. So just coming into that, you know, process and understanding that, you know, you pretty much have football all every day, all day, and then you come back to school and it's pretty much the same thing. I think that was an adjustment period for freshman year. Being a senior for these guys is tough since they have not had an established coaching staff at all during their college career. The fr my freshman staff was a little more laid back. They were a little bit younger. Um, they were a little bit more like friends rather than coaches. They wanted to interact with us and teach more so rather than to discipline and to teach. Uh, sophomore and junior year, we had a change of staff. We had a little bit older staff, so it was harder to connect on a personal level. And then now we got a coaching staff that just cares tremendously about us and wants us to, see, wants us to be successful. Uh, Becoming a team takes time. And for these seniors, stability is the only thing for this program to succeed. Not just stability for the coaching staff, but for players as well. The major culture change on the football team like compared to my freshman year to senior year is the, our old coaching staff my freshman year, they didn't really emphasize a family environment and like investing in each other, investing in like putting forth and putting time towards your brothers on the football team. Compared to now, Coach Durko has brought us together. And since he's taken us swimming uh, for camp, he's taken us bowling in the uh, spring, that for sure, we uh, for sure brought us together. The three seniors has enjoyed being part of the Lynx Nation and hope for the tradition of the school and for the future Lynx to build culture and have fun. For LBTV News, I'm Darian Boone. Thank you for watching LBTV News. We'll be back after this break. Experience a little bit of Germany close to home at the fourth annual open air German Christmas market featuring European vendors and German food and beverages, November 24th through December 23rd at the Belleville Public Square. Welcome back to LBTV News. Lindenwood's dance team has competed all around the country. Wesley Carter got a chance to talk with some of the girls about what they're all about. The Lynx line dance seniors walk the field one last time as they say goodbye to their home of the last four years. On the Lynx line dance team, I've learned that I've made lifelong friendships with all the girls on my team. I could call any one of them at any time and they would be there in a heartbeat for me. I'm going to miss dance more than anything here at Lindenwood. Um, I've been dancing since I was three competitively um, in high school and now college, so this is pretty much the end for me, so that's going to be what I miss the most. I am head dance coach at Lindenwood University Belleville for the past seven years. Uh, the most exciting thing about being a coach for me is getting to see my seniors graduate and um, walk across that stage um, in December or May. Um, it's really cool to get to see them, whether they're here for one year or three or four years. Um, that's the most rewarding part of being a coach. I love the opportunity to give scholarships to dancers um, at the NAI level. It's really cool because in the NCAA, uh, Dancers don't get scholarships like in the NAIA, so that's the best part of my job as well. My seniors are some of my best friends, and that's something that I've gained, and I hope that we can continue to have amazing professional relationships outside of their time here at Linwood Belleville now that they're out into the real world. Uh, something that I've learned from being a coach is just to always push myself to the next level and be more passionate about um, dance and just about recruiting in general. We wish the Lynx line dance seniors the best of luck as they move forward. I'm Michaela Henderson, and this is LBTV News. That's all for this week. I'm Michaela Henderson, and thank you for watching LBTV News.